Let's make them happy, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for Victorian Recruit Firefighter Course 1 2018. I'm Lisa Wadling, a recent uh, recruit from the Victorian Recruit Firefighting Course 2018, Course 1. I'm Holly Scoble. I'm Simone Bate. Yeah, my name's Chris German. Uh, my name's Matt Leonard. I was at a point in my life where uh, I was sort of thinking along future plans um, and uh, where my family, myself, were heading and I decided that I needed something a little bit more stable uh, to owning my own business and I was, wanted to do something that sort of impacted on the community and, and made a difference. I was a carpenter for 10 years before uh, starting the course, um, working, I uh, did my apprenticeship back up home in Castlemaine with, with my father, um, worked in the family business for about 10 years and then yeah went over to Western Australia and did some work over in the mines. So. I've got a couple of mates in the role and just listening to them talk about the role, um, being able to serve the community and, and have a positive impact on people, um, on people's lives, you know, it's a real privilege to be able to turn up um, to EMR events or, you know, any, any, any job that we go to and be able to um, help someone in their time of need. The course has been awesome, it's been really, really good fun, uh, the practical stuff's been great, being able to go out into the PLE. And, and you know, get around in the trucks and, and turn up to drills and stuff like that. Um, I felt that in my other job I had gone as far as I needed to go and yeah I just wanted to spend the rest of my career learning more things, new skill set. Yeah I'm really excited to get out on station, I'm really looking forward to station life. Um, I was just recently saying to friends that yeah I, I'm starting to pinch myself and think how grateful I am to be here where I am at the moment. I um, was a retail manager in a pharmacy, so I worked part-time um, along with looking after my kids and um, I decided to ch have a change because I needed a new career that was going to be more physically and mentally challenging where I could still work within a team and help in the community. And I've had family in the um, CFA, so looking back at uh, a couple of generations that are before me, I realised that, wow, that's something spectacular and I want to be part of that. The course has been great. I, um, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, living away from home, definitely a massive challenge. Um, having family at home and you know, going through my head whether they were going to be okay. Um, then the study, challenging and um, but rewarding. So uh, what I thought coming in, um, I actually have learnt a lot about myself in the last 20 weeks um, in, in applying myself, um, both mentally and physically, um, and, and I've got a lot out of it. And due to the support, the, the team, the camaraderie, um, and everyone just coming together and, and supporting each other. The moment for me is pretty cheesy, actually. So when I was 15, my dad had a heart attack and the guy that was first onto him was a commander in the MFB. So since then I've sort of had an interest in it and I knew a couple guys in the, uh, in the role and thought I was pretty well suited to it and uh, you know looked to them as something I could do for the rest of my life. Yeah, definitely rewarding. Uh, like met, met some people that I'll be friends with for the rest of my life and made some really good bonds and then even with the instructors like a lot in common with them and they've been really helpful and uh, positive and they give you as much back as you put into to work. Um, if anyone else is out there thinking about joining I would say do it yesterday. Um, it's the most rewarding thing we've only been here five months and we haven't even been out of station yet and it's, it's still uh, so rewarding being able to come in put the uniform on and, and get to work.